Welcome to the overview of the 10 building blocks of Chinuch. These building blocks, essentially, I call them 10 building blocks of Chinuch, they essentially cover all the areas that we need as Mechanchim, teachers, educators, uh, to cover for our children. It's not the actual curriculum per se, it's more like a framework. And number 10, almost there. And for some of you, this might, might come as a surprise. But number 10 is massive. And it's called recess. Here's my version of a soccer ball. You might be able to detect from my accent why I would choose a soccer ball as the icon. So actually, recess is a really valuable time. And add on today's and tomorrow's morning and afternoon recess. And before you see the 180 days plus of the school year, you've got hundreds of hours of recess taking place in school hours. And the question becomes, when is a child more real? In the classroom or the playground? Be honest. We know where. Why is a child more real in the playground than in the classroom? Obvious reason, because he's being himself. Oh, so he's kind of artificial in the classroom. Yeah, we don't want him to be, but, but that's a certain reality to it. So where are you going to learn more about his real personality, his strengths, his weaknesses? his social interaction with others. You'll see it in the classroom, but where are you going to learn it really fast, much more intensively? Oh, it's going to be much more intense on the playground, in recess. The extent to which they play together or clique, separate, isolated, feel um, not part of the group, bullying. You're going to see that much more taking place. And the subtle demonstrations of bullying, which is part of teaching about recess um, and how to handle it. Um, we're going to see much more if a kid is into sharing or he's selfish, will he hold on to the ball or does he pass it often? Um, how good a sportsman is he? When he uh, sees his friend miss the goal, uh, miss the basket, how does he respond to that? Uh, anger, name calling, blaming, comparing, uh, accusing. Um, and we're going to talk about how do we change the rules? in recess so that the children take control of themselves and help them to be appreciative, show admiration, gratitude, instead of name-calling, insults, put-downs when a team player misses the ball or doesn't uh, play the move very well. There's so much we can learn from the children because they will reveal themselves much more in recess than in the classroom. And there's so much more we can do to build rapport with the kids when we are part of their recess, especially if it's not beyond our cover to play with them. So we'll talk about that in recess. So what we're going to do now is take a coffee break. At least that's what I'm going to do and I suggest you do as well. And we'll reconvene and we're going to go through this in much more detail. You've already got the overview, but now we're going to do the underview of the overview. And I'm going to take out actual materials that will reflect each of these 10 building blocks. And in each one, you're going to see how, as we mentioned much earlier in the Hashkafa series, how children can learn on their own with a little bit of help and facilitation from me, the teacher. And then they come back to show me what they've mastered so that we're not constantly teaching, but instead doing what my real job is, which is to facilitate and direct the child have trust in their intelligence, give them materials that can bring out of the child their own strengths, and then they can come back to me and show me what they know. And then I know how to fill in the gaps because they're revealing to me what they got, what they didn't get, what they're strong in, what they're weak in, what they understood straight away, what they're having a uh, struggle with. And that enables me to be Al Pidarkai, to really learn one-on-one -on -one with the kids. That's, that's ultimately Al Pidarkai. Instead of a classroom of 20 plus kids, I can work one-on-one -on -one with the children because they're freed up to work with the different materials. So I want you to see this in, as an experience as opposed to theory, where the 10 building blocks literally come alive with the materials. Stay tuned. Coming back soon.